um, Chris, just this series, uh, you know, you sprain your ankle early. Um, you're the one guy that ends up playing every game and you're playing through that. Just how'd you feel throughout this series? Um, and then just kind of what you see today that maybe you guys didn't have enough? Yeah, I mean, uh, ankles are sore, but, you know, everybody's going through something in the playoffs. So if you could play, if you could play through it, got to go out there and play. Um, no excuses about it. Just tonight, just didn't have it. And, I mean, as a team, I think, I think you know, they came out, wanted to set the tone, be extra physical, um, push the pace as much as they could, like they've been trying to do all series. And they were, they were able to execute their game plan. We, we couldn't ask much. Um, so credit to them on that. Um, just thinking about this season, obviously the idea is a, a big four with with you guys all all going to, together, and then Doc comes around and you don't really get a ton of time together in the regular season. In the playoffs, you get zero minutes together. Um, just kind of how frustrating is it to have a season end like this where you guys are dealing with injuries again? It's unfortunate, but it's part of life, part of the game, part of sports. I mean, that's why you you build a team. You know, in case some guys go down, if a guy goes down, hopefully as a team you can step up and, you know, put it together. Um, the last couple of years we haven't been able to do that. I think, you know, the year we won it, everybody forgets Dante DiVincenzo had an injury. Um, P.J. Tucker stepped into a role and we were still able to compete and um, end up winning the championship that year. The last couple of years we just weren't good enough as a team. And, you know, there's no excuses about it, I, I feel. I'm not going say just because he was Giannis was out Dane was out I was hurt you know whatever the last couple of years every team is going through something at, at some point it's just you have to have the best team to keep playing at this point in the season just with with Dame coming back today what that mean to you as, as a teammate to see him battling just just to return tonight it meant a lot it's showing that you know he was going through a serious thing that had been bothering him for a while but he felt he was good enough to go out there and play tonight. And I thought, you know, he gave it everything he had also. So there was a lot of respect from, from me, I think from everybody inside that locker room that, you know, he went out there and played, I don't know how many, 30, what does it say, 34, 35 minutes. Um, we needed him tonight. We just, you know, couldn't, couldn't pull it out. I know you probably haven't had time to think about it, but what does the offseason look, look like for you? <laughs> the same, I mean... I think this is the first time in a while I don't have to go through a rehab stage, so that's fun. Uh, get to spend time with my family, my kids, my wife, golf a little bit, work out, get better, get ready for next season. Um, uh, just uh, we spent a lot of time early on asking you about you know, your minutes and yada yada about all the injury and stuff you have. Just what do you make of this entire season for you? Are you just happy with how it all played out considering you were able to be on the floor in the playoffs and down the stretch? Yeah, I think, I think the medical staff did a great job of taking care of me, you know, coming off my, my surgery from the summertime. You know, I was frustrated with, you know, the, the minute progressions and, you know, not playing back-to-backs, but they knew what was going to be best for myself and my body. So, you know, and I'll be all mine. Extremely happy the way, you know, they managed my body just to get me to this point to, to where I, I can play 40 minutes and, you know, feel great the next day or good enough to keep going. Um, so, you know, major shout-out and thanks to them for that. Um. To, to have Doc come in, and and obviously the goal was to to keep going beyond the, this point. Though, what was this half a season like under him, and just you know um, his coaching, the game plan, so all that stuff. Like, what was how you can look back at it? How how good was he, and and how are you looking forward to having a summer camp? Yeah, it was before? great. It was great. I think. You know, at first we started off slow because I was out. Um, he started off on the West Coast trip against the reigning champs, which is tough. But I thought he was great all, all season, all half, half the year long, getting us organized, getting us prepared. Um, I think that, that was the main main thing I could take away from half of the second half of the season. I think, you know, summertime and leading to training, training camp, it's going to be great that we have a lot of time where we can have conversations. We all can get on the same page. Even Dame. I mean, Dame came in, I think, a week before training camp. Uh, so that was a curveball also. So to get a full off season, where we know um, what to expect about, you know, who's going to be in that building, um, have those conversations, get ready for next year. I think some type of continuity is going to be great for us. 
Hey, Chris, every time we talk to your teammates, coaches, and really people even from outside of this organization, they had such high praise for you, especially considering the series run for you, your basketball IQ. How do you feel about where you are at this point in your career and about this season overall, especially considering all the injuries that you've dealt with in recent years? Yeah, I've always said I feel like I have a lot left to go. I mean, this series, I felt like I, I had a great series, but at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough to advance. So take that into the summertime, use that as motivation to figure out how to get better, stronger, conditioning wise, everything. Um, you know, I'm a guy that feels like if I just can't be satisfied no matter, you know, how I perform, good or bad, or make any type of excuses about how I perform. So I'm just excited, excited about the summertime, you know, figure out ways to get better personally. Um, and yeah, go from there. Uh, Jim had asked you about your first year with Doc, I'm curious, just what are your takeaways from playing with Dame for a year? Just about how much attention, you know, he, he draws from, you know, as soon as he touched the ball from full court all the way up to his scoring areas. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of attention towards myself. That starts at, you know, half court or two or three feet behind the line. I've seen Giannis is, has to be guarded by five people in the paint, but to see somebody attract, you know, full court pressure or trapping, you know, from full court is something that, we, we definitely can take advantage of throughout all the seasons, um, well, all next season at least. Um, like I said, I've never seen that before, so I'm excited to play with him, continue to grow, and, uh, and build a relationship with him. Uh, obviously, this past summer, you signed up, so did Brooke. Um, just, Brooke was asked to do a lot defensively uh, this year. Do you feel like, you know, he can still anchor defense in the same way that he has in years past? It, does that require moving some other pieces around to, to be better defensively? Like, how do you feel like you guys can still be an elite defense? No, I think, you know, Brooke doesn't get enough credit for what he does. I mean, it doesn't really show up in the box score or stats or anything like that, but he's a guy that guys don't want to see in the paint. Um, he's a guy teams are worried about on the perimeter from time to time and in the paint. But, you know, this season, he, like you said, he had to play a lot of different roles. Um, the schemes changed a little bit. He had to adapt to that. You know, that's, that's hard. You know, I've been in a situation where I've had to change my game a little bit on both ends on the floor, and it takes a while. I think Brooke was a, a professional about handling himself, about adapting to change, and still finding ways to be productive on the court. I mean, there's times where he can finish games just because the way we wanted to play. Um, but, you know, the times he was out there, he was still giving his all. And, you know, that's a guy I want to play with for the rest of my career, for sure. Chris, you appear to be very emotional at the end of the game. What was going through your mind when you're on the bench watching that? I wasn't too down? emotional. I mean, it just sucks. Give it y'all, you don't win. It sucks. Simple as that. I mean, um, Losing sucks. End of your season sucks. It's part of it. You move on. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Sorry. Um, you've been a part of a season where you lose and you're sitting in street clothes at the end of the year. Um, Giannis went through that this year. <laughs> I, so you know firsthand how much it sucks. I, I'm just curious how you have tried to help him through it because obviously we all know he was doing everything he could to get on the floor. Yeah, I, I honestly haven't talked to him that much because, you know, I know he's fuming. I've been there before, like you said, where, you know, you're itching, you're fighting, you're fighting the medical staff to say you're good, um, but you're going to hold back some. And I can see the frustration on his face. I mean, I know how bad he wants it, he wants to be out there and, you know, wants to be the great player that he is and proved to the world how great of a player he still is. So, um, yeah, I know he's got a lot going on through his mind right now, just frustration about not – being available at this time of the year. Um, I, know, I know you said it sucks. Um, and no one, no players ever won a championship every year they've ever played. So I, I get the math. Yeah. Um, but is it, what's the disappointment level though? Because it felt like it was, especially after Dame's trade, while jarring, I'm sure, there was so much expectation and sort of excitement. And I know that you have had this expectation the last couple of years. But was it different at all? Like, did, did, it, did it feel like more of a, I want to call it a letdown, but to a degree, like, you, you're ending not with your whole group. You're not, yeah. you, you know what I mean? And it's the first round and not a final or a conference final. That's hard. I mean, every year you want to you want to win, but you can't win every year, like you said. You can't control who's going to be on the floor with the injuries and whatnot. So I've said, I think a couple times already, is that, you know, I try to focus on what I can't control. Um, and the guys out there, I think, Everybody gave, you know, as much effort. The effort was intense the whole time. Everybody gave it their all. 
just wasn't good enough. I mean, it's going to be years like that where you're going to be great with the players you have on the floor. You're not going. You're going to be great with the players you don't have the floor, and then vice versa. I mean, we weren't good enough with you know Dane missing a couple games and Giannis being out as a team, and that's just part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <clears throat>